Hello, and welcome back to Pick and Plays. That's my info with the guys that I command. We are back in the American Union State with Huey Long in the perfect democracy. So then, I've been getting some comments wondering why I sent troops over to Germany and how Huey Long would be anti war in general, especially against the Entente, even though they did take over our land in Alaska in there. I'm hoping that eventually there's going to be some kind of event or decision or probably timed event because I don't see anything here. But some way to get back New England, uh, Panama Canal, <coughs> free of charge without having to fight anyone. I'm thinking I might have to do with going down, rebuilding the country till reconstruction is over. S or maybe def after I get Defend America, or after I get Pax Americana or Destroy Syndicalism with the Defending the Americas decisions. Maybe carry a big stick. I'm not sure what it'll take, but we'll just stay at peace. I sent troops to Europe, one, to have something to do with my time, and also because I think it makes sense. Remember, these are volunteers. They're over there for their own free will. They are technically not there in an official sense. You, back up the Paraguayans. Because on one thing, the Chaco Brigade is just Paraguayans. Join in. Help. Help them. And then the other one, the Van Bunch Stoyman Division. I'm considering that, I think I mentioned it before, as uh, kind of like people of German descent, maybe even recent immigrants. All hail the Kingfish. Ooh, I like this. Huey Long has emerged from the Civil War truly victorious without ever compromising his principles. Now that we have won the conflict, he stands as the leader of America. With his victory, Long has turned his gaze to those who demand that he prostrate himself before them during his time of need. He was given orders to the Minutemen to deal with those traitors and who attempt, who dare attempt to betray the weak in America. Kingfish is victorious. Hey, we'll be known as the United States of America. Hey, wonderful. We got our flag back. But do we get... I believe that is us. Hmm. We have the United States of America. What would... Hmm. May I talk to What would... <laughs> What would happen if I released the United States of America as the United States of America and then played as the United States of America? <laughs> uh, it's too bad I don't get those course though. We got new, oh, the Bayonet Division. I like that one. Let's see, you specifically are a Colonial Infantry Division. I'm not sure what what type of name did I give you. How'd you get the Bayonet Division? Mm, Colonial Infantry Division, you got, ah, just Infinite Infantry Division. Yeah, you're supposed to go to our territories overseas. Go down to low priority so that we still have plenty for our fighting troops over in Europe. <clears throat> Lend lease to Germany, still important to me. And then that new unit. You're gonna go to Coast Guard, that's first and foremost. And then go to Guantanamo Bay, go to San Juan. Nothing else in this sector. That's what's. After that, it would be Guam, and it would be Fuzhou, but I think I'll leave those for now. Leave them up to some guy. Uh, Henry L. Hoids? Sure. Hods? Hoids? We got carrier guns? Oh, to artillery, go for better guns. Yes. Build aircraft? Ah, I see. A carrier CS can have a better carrier CS. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Over here? The attack we've been carrying out with the Chaco Brigade and the Ben Bunch Stolyben Division. It was working and it is. Ah, hey, wait. Go up and around. It's time for some cutoff county action. The M3 Lee is up and running. I like it. Hmm. Looks like if I went this way. Yeah, I'd cut him off. Don't like that. Hold still for a second. Go this way. Cover him up. New research slot available. I only have three research slots. I'm going to need more. 1941, getting the Sherman is important to me. As we're over here at the old reliable, send him back to the Coast Guard. You're the... Mm, put him on that. Uh, give him that. Then more. Ah, yeah. Attention. All Kaiser Reich players. The Kaiser needs you. Guam. Und. Fujo. Fujiao. Fuja. Who knows? That should be that. Looks like there was a landing by Greece in Valencia. Other than that, doing our best to try and 
build up this pocket again. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Hey, I think I might see a way through. The American troops in this sector have been American and Paraguay have been invaluable to the war effort, in my opinion. The volunteers from both America and from Paraguay. Yes, come on. Ah, we got cut off, but it's by a weak unit who is in retreat already. Probing attack would not really do much. You, you are losing a lot of men. It's because we don't have any... It's because we don't have any manpower to refill them with, but I, I honestly, that kind of makes sense to me. Just because, in a general sense, especially the Paraguayans, they don't, there's no one to send with them. And also, somebody was talking to me about you. Yeah, hold where you are for now. So long as this attack holds, we should be okay. And who knows if I need to reinforce that. They were talking to me about... Hmm... Lowering this on the importance, the convoys, because we already have a thousand convoys stacked up. And yeah, that makes enough sense. It's not that important. Also, need to build up Lee medium tanks. It's going to be a while. No, we're building up plenty of military factories. We'll be building just fine. I was also thinking about switching over to free trade to get that extra factory output and dockyard output and construction speed. At the cost of local resources, but I don't really need those. You get in there and make sure we're holding out all right. Quickly, quickly, sons. We gotta go. All right, well, we can hold on to Hold that there. These troops will have to hold back. If we can get up with the Nantes, this will be a... A very large salient on their part. Perhaps move over. Good. Maybe we launch an assault on Montes. Ah, oh, they're sending over tanks, though. If we can get them stuck in, that'd be lovely. <clears throat> Just get yourselves into this pocket, please. Come on. Ben von Steuben. Chacos. Come on. Chaco Brigade. Triumphant. We're sending a lot of troops in here, though. If we can just... If we can... Huh. If we can meet up with Le Havre, we... Hey! Okay, they're attacking from multiple angles. They're not going to cut me off. That is good to know. Yeah, they are really surrounding us here. Give them hell, boys. Give them hell. If I go on to last stand, we'll just lose more men. Better back up. In a nice, controlled retreat. What is this? The Visia of the German Empire. Interesting. Yeah, these troops are getting weak. Focus more on holding that harbor for now, boys. Well, focus more on holding that harbor. Make sure we don't get cut off. Take a moment away. What are we working on? Rebuilding the countries. Going along just fine. The lack of manpower. Hmm. Anything we're not really working on? Not really working on you at all. Get rid of you. These National Guard divisions, dump them. We don't need them. Anything else? Louisiana divisions, I'd like to be able to launch you out, but you don't have the anti-tank guns motorized. They're very close, though. Hmm. Manpower's all there. Hmm. Holding on to the defenses, though. Holding on. At the very least, the Chocolate Brigade is going to get some more experience. Back to where it was, where it's supposed to be. <clears throat> hey, look at that. Over here, they cut off this unit. And German Empire, except I believe you are... Yeah, I think those are the Lithuanian troops. Are they... Are you going to form that Lithuanian Commonwealth or what? Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth? Ooh. Oh, good. Lorient is also a port. It's going to be a port in Brest. Port in Lorient. And then the port in Cherbourg, down the south. Marseille was taken by the Entente. Really, if we just land on La Rochelle and Bordeaux, that'll pretty much be it. Meanwhile, Paris is on the front lines, and the combat is right in La Havre. If they were to cut them off there, but there, that's very, very well held on to. So it's unlikely that that will happen. Rebuilding the country is done. 
So. Now. Ah, well, you know. One uh, must be paternal autocrat, national populist, or have the national... Oh, okay. So, authoritarian democracy, national populist. The National Recovery Administration. The NRA emphasizes the use of public domain and work living units instead of the cutthroat competition of regular contract work. Workers in the NRA will receive the benefits of minimum wages and price-controlled work environments in constant to the old company store model. Hmm. So what you're saying is, it's communism. It's syndicalism. Over here, our troops are hard fighting. Outdated work. Ah, good, finally. Some good quality fighters. After that, ooh, the P-38 the P Lightning. Nice, nice. The low manpower is really killing my units out here. But they went to war not expecting anything in return. We don't need to hold back. At the very least, how's this war going, by the way? It's 94% world tension. Mm, British-German war. The Germans just keep racking on the losses, but... At, at least they're winning. At least they aren't hurt by it. There's a conflict going on in Ireland, of all places. It was the weak underbelly of the Union of Britain. Over here, you guys are holding on. You got a coalition force of Poles, Chinese, Germans, Americans, Paraguayans. Ah, the first big red one division. Don't you don't you already exist? Hmm. Public of Yemen declared war on Muscat. Public of Yemen, weren't you a part of a faction? No, you're not. You just have a really nice beard. Ooh, the, you are a part of a faction, though, so it's going to be Yemen versus you. And Yemen, you're slightly bigger than usual. I was playing a personal game of Ottomans. It was a very, very fun experience. I enjoyed it. Put these troops together. We need to fight. We need to hold them off. Ooh, a Ukrainian landing in Dover. As well as, oh god, they're just slicing this country up. As well as all the troops that are stuck inside of Ireland will likely die. I mean, I'd help out in Union of Britain, but our troops are already pinned down and they don't have enough resources. In the fields, training. I'll hail the kingfish. Okay. Will be known as the United States of America. Will be known as the United States of America. I swear to God, this thing is stuck in a while loop. And it's just gonna keep going. We're still the United States of America. Good for us. That one. Hmm. Now, if only I could get those cores. Because at the moment, these are colony states. The, the irony. The irony of having colony states in America. You, Sioux Division. By the way... Uh, yeah. One only. Go away. Uh, go away. One, three, good. All others give up. Sioux Division. These are the good guys. These are the good troops. The ones with the normal looking helmets. The ones with the German style helmets. Those are elsewhere. You, get back in there. Defend your Peruvian... No, Peruvian. Paraguayan brothers in arms. Hmm, Chaco Brigade. They're holding up the good defense, but they can't hold out forever. Ooh, more landings. This time in Cardiff and in Bristol. They're using... We're using... Uh, Ulster. You're controlled by the Union... <laughs> Union of Britain. A lot of this is controlled by... Ukraine. Some of it's controlled by... Canada, I think. It's just... This is just a mess. You troops. You fought long and hard. Don't worry about it. Fallback line in Shadborg. That is your last stand location. Look after it. Look after him like you would your own child. Hmm. 1941. Dispersed industry. 22 days for dispersed industry. I love that. The Red Devils send them to this army. What is this army? Oh, you that? Those troops. All right. Good to know. As well as the first old Ironside division. Your troops just sit there, wait for reinforcements to arrive. Ooh, a German landing in Livorno. Ballsy. Let's hope it goes somewhere. Although it's both German and who now? No, it's Deutsche Ostasien. Hmm. 
Winning control over the seas has been very good for the Germans. Uh, Lorient still holds. Brest still holds. Caen and Cherbourg still hold. Swan and Cardiff still holds, but they've been pushed out of Bristol. Who knows how long that can last. Oh, is that a naval invasion up north? Is that a Canadian naval invasion? It is, but it isn't on a port, so it's likely going to be killed off very soon. I mean, what you can't do through the Siegfried line, you'll do through other means. Q troops, just hold on out. Oh, uh, look how close this unit was. 95% towards being veteraned again. For one day, one day my manpower will come. And it will all go to my ships. This is the real reason why I was stockpiling ships so much, is because fall of Beijing after days of intensive fighting, the capital suburbs, Meng Ten troops finally scaled the walls of Beijing. Ooh. And they did though through a naval invasion through Tianjin. Hot dang. But I think the Qing can still fight on. They're part of the Sino coalition. They can keep fighting. Nanjing is the new capital, right next to Shanghai, the other provinces. And this battle line just has not gone anywhere. You're into air production. You don't want to fight the trade mission to the Republic of Aust Australia. Hmm. While they're at war with all the Commonwealth, the government of the Republic of Australia has approached us regarding the possibility of a new bilateral trade agreement between our countries in uh, return for dropping the tariffs and place currently restricting imports. They promise to do the same to America. Yes, this benefits us both. Or no? I think yes, even though the fact that they're a bit of a loose cannon is not good, but in the event that we might have to fight against the Entente, having some friends on board wouldn't be too bad. Over here. Your troops just hold on out. How many troops are left? 7,000. You, 6,000. They've lost many. Many, many, many. General Volunteers, how's your division been doing? 52% win ratio. Extra recovery uh, equipment. We've been doing twice as much damage to the enemy. It's good, that's what I like to see. Begin the reconstruction, civil works administration, public works. Get a research slot down there. Unlocks reconstruction decisions, hell yeah. We need that. Let's read it as well. A long list of former Federalist and Syndicalist buildings have been composed with priority placed on heritage, cultural heritage and defensibility. Should utility override past grievances, is the potential for sabotage by these companies great? We must decide. Alright, well, do it. Do it, do it, do it. We'll do that. I just wish I could get some cores. Over here. 1941. Uh, we could get some more decryption. Or we could wait. 50% bonus on assembly line research. I like that. Construction, still building things up. I like it. What about construct? Eh, what about... What am I even looking for? Production. There we go. Uh, you are very much ahead of time. Go away. Medium tanks. Not building them for any real reason, but keep going. Light tanks. Light tanks are going to be out of favor pretty soon. How about only five factories on those Thompsons? Five factories on Garands. Just to come through. Uh, let's see... Interwar bombers, not as necessary. Put some down to give some away. Put some down to give some away. Alright, that's all of our physical factories. Nice. It's all of our ground factories. Over here, they're pushing forward again. We can just take Nantes. Lorient fell. Looks like Brest might fall as well. New landings on Portsmouth and Cardiff. A new landing next to London. Unlike they all go anywhere. A new landing in Newcastle. Man, the Ukrainians are just so good at naval landings. Over here, Paris has been on the front lines for quite some time, but I don't think it's been under siege. I need some manpower. Free trade can be moved. I need extensive conscription. Estimated enemy strength more than 50%. I go for naval manufacturers. As for this, motorize is what we really need. Eh, IW carrier fighters, not as important. In fact, a lot of this is not that important. But just build them up, build them up. I'm gonna need these medium tanks, though. Gonna need a lot of them, eventually, one day. 
Sufficient resources on steel. We can get some from the Germans. And rubber. We're taking them in from the them. I suppose Deutsche Ostechen can bring them in from the east. From the Orient. Yes, sir. You guys, you're too weak to fight. You gotta hold on. You gotta hold off. I'll hail the Kingfish. <laughs> United States of America will be known as the United States of America. I hope that stops. <laughs> I'll hail the Kingfish. Uh, with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.